net zero by 2050, blah, 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 net zero, blah, 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 climate neutral, blah, blah, blah. My message is that we'll be watching you. The cost of doing nothing keeps rising. That's the real inflation that threatens all of us. And I keep wondering, when are we really going to accelerate the change that's needed to truly have a sustainable world for our children and for ourselves? We are all part of these pieces that have to come together in order to secure this future. And I do believe we are part of this puzzle and we all need to do our part. We cannot disagree with this statement. Please let me introduce to you Magdalena. Magdalena pavlak Chereda is a well-known Polish-American sustainability executive. She is currently Vice President of Sustainability and Innovation Global Service Line a Bureau Veritas. Here in Warsaw, Magda has accepted the challenge of making a true assessment of what ABRIS means by calling itself an ESG transformation specialist, private equity investor. There is no time for blah, blah, blah. There is only time for real action. So let's hear her view. ABRIS is definitely the leader in ESG in, this, in the private equity market. The ABRIS management team has developed several ESG tools to strengthen their value creation process. These include, to name the most important, the Corporate Governance Model, a proprietary ESG scoring application enabling data gathering and multi-dimensional reporting, a Climate Manifesto committing to carbon neutrality by 2025, a diversity, equity and inclusion policy and an ESG exit path framework. These tools help ABRIS to deliver highly impactful value creation initiatives while at the same time generating solid returns for investors and contributing to regenerative economy goals. But why make such a huge effort? I think for ABRIS, ESG is as important as growth, as revenues, as EBDA, as market share. We commit ourselves to transform local leaders into international champions using obviously growth of value but also ESG focused culture, digital excellence and carbon neutrality. And that's really very dear to our heart. And I would like to believe that this is because we not only talk about it, we not only make claims, but we also deliver and everything that we do, we try to measure. So we try, or we are able to prove that all the claims we make have deliverables in our actions. It definitely shows on the market. Thank you. Magda, thank you for sharing your views on the ABRIS ESG transformation practice, which helps ABRIS to build regional carbon neutral sustainability champions. ESG is the foundation of Abris's value creation proposition.